Here we're going to more of our adventure bikes that we tend to carry on tour, which here we are dealing with the HP Velotechnic Scorpion and the Gecko with comfort seating. Uh, so the difference is, is you'll see the elevation of height. The Delta bikes tend to be a little bit taller, so easier to transfer to and out of, as well as having only one wheel in the front and the ability to link the Delta models together. Here, these are rear wheel driven and they're called a tadpole trike. So both front wheels are your steering and then your rear single wheel is pushing you down the road. Again, these are more of your sport or adventure um, seeking uh, bikes, which then are lower to the ground. So it's gonna be lower profile, greater power, greater speed and agility in many ways um, on different terrain. We'll start off with the HP Scorpion, which is going to be different. It does utilize a rear shock, which will decrease pressure on the spine. It, a lot of our people in the rural or underserved areas tend to have dirt roads, a lot of washboard, potentially some light single track or double track roads, which this shock will minimize that strain to directly to the spine. Also, the difference is the trampoline type seat with a pad in it that is adjustable that does absorb additional shock to the spine, but also allows you to put different types of tires to be more of an off-road offset. So again, much lower to the ground. So getting in and out of this bike is the, I refer to opening the door. There's bars on this to help transfer your bum down swinging the legs over and now i'm in more of that athletic position so again as a pt or ot person is thinking about what is my cycling or body gait based upon what my different injuries illnesses could be do i have proper extension flexion on the pedaling cycle but also do i have the ability to hold myself up do i need a strap because i keep sliding down in the seat or do I have proper fit to where I'm still getting better glute firing from the fact that I'm laying back a little more versus too far forward to activate then the hip flexors disengaging further at the glute. So some of that is fitness and function that we're always looking at in the fitting. So I also think then safety, we have a transfer bar so somebody can help push up to get out of the bike because again, these are much lower so we'll go over getting out and sizing in different uh, episodes that allow you to understand ways and best practices to keep safe and injury free getting in and out. Also on this bike, we're utilizing the Sport Crafter rollers and this is on the rear wheel. So it allows us to go through and pedal. We run our indoor training sessions this way, but this is also a great assessment tool in your office it allows you to not chase somebody that has smashed through the front rotating gate of the, your building and you're able to quickly fit and assess, make adjustments and really figure out before putting them out on the road and make sure your cross seam, your other seams are fit well to have proper function and decreased pain. We never want to increase pain because sometimes we just can't get rid of it, but we want to be at that happy factor level and function. This also has this is set up with right versus left brake, and then it has bar end shifters or micro shifters that allow you to adjust between the front and then the rear derailleur cassette that allows you to change your gearing. There is also all the foot adaptations um, possible that you can put on these pedals, but right now this is set up for a good, like a good touring bike that will pedal along at 15 miles an hour along with your single two-wheel bike friends so that you can now go down bumpy roads and still have that comfort without shocks to the spine. So getting out, I open the door, I bring my leg in, I can then push off of my wheels, or in this case, I have an up assistance to then get out of the bike without falling. Here, you will see much taller, easier to get in and out of, but a little bit different. They're very similar, this is the HP Gecko. And so you're opening the door, you're having your seat. 
but we have this set up for a right-sided weakness. So bipole brake on the right side, nothing over here. We do have a parking brake that activates the rear wheel brake versus the disc brakes in front on this HP Gecko. And I have my handy dandy adjustment tool. A lot of times on the boom, which goes in and out, here you would use a six millimeter wrench with two, um, loosen it, the boom goes in and out. Um, you know, the other distant difference is this has a standard chain alignment with a system to protect the chain from rubbing on body parts, but less adjustable without adjusting the chain length itself. Here we have a modification um, that allows the bike to change. It's called a chain gobbler. So this boom can come in and out easily without worrying about changing chain length itself by removing or adding links. So very good for a program uh, model or uh, somebody that has a lot of change in pain, so flexion or extension may differ. So fitting this bike also is set up in a programmatic style to where it's got quick releases. And then I can now change the length of this boom. Again, it pulls out or shortens, but it also then is a little more upright. So we'll call it our comfort model. Um, and I believe uh, HP does refer to it as their comfort uh, line, where it has an extended boom uh, for the seat so it won't recline as far and it keeps them more upright for people with neck and other issues, sometimes amputees. There's a lot of reasons why you'd want somebody a little more forward posturally. So that allows me to now pedal, be on a little more padding instead of the standard catch or trampoline netting style seating. And this allows different shock to come out and future episodes, we'll talk about tire pressure to decrease shock or increase roll resistance, um, potentially, which you may want on dirt roads or places where it's softer versus hard roads and higher speed where you increase your tire pressure. So um, you can place bottle mounts on here. There's racks that could go on to the back of the bike that allows the individual to carry oxygen their wheelchair they pull behind. They put their walking sticks or canes in the backs of seats. So it, they do come with lots of adaptations necessary to make that happen. Again, you can add all the foot attachments that you would like to adapt, whether it's an AFO, a foot sling, clipless pedals. Um, again, here, this is our standard programmatic with a toe clip and then a heel restraint so that the person's foot doesn't just slide off when they become fatigued and then potentially fall off, but this won't fall off versus my other foot can fall off and continue under the bike. And I'm using unnecessary energy to hold that foot into the toe cage. So again, I always like to refer, make the happy factor extremely high, the safety factor completely safe and not minimize the, the safety of a ride because of lack of function.